Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this look for you guys. It's an everyday makeup routine, very simple that you can do every single day, obviously. Now this look could obviously be worn without the lashes. I'm just a little bit extra and I love my lashes. So I put them on, but you can obviously leave them out if that's what you feel like doing. I had my trusty brother behind the scenes to help me make sure I'm in focus the whole time. So hopefully I'm in focus the whole time because if not, he someone's catching a murder charge. And I would like to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I know it's a small amount, but it still means a lot to me because it is my first 100. So hopefully we will keep growing. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing this look, just keep on watching. I'm just going to start off by clipping my hair back. We're going to start off with primer first. I'm using Tarte Double Duty Beauty Primer. I'm just going to apply that everywhere. So after the primer, I'm just going to go in with this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow in color Daybreak. I'm gonna put that on the cheekbones, right here. A little goes a long way. And then you just wanna blend that out. Well, I know we look crazy right now, don't worry. It's a whole process. I'm gonna go in with my Yensa concealer and we're just gonna put it underneath our eyes, our nose. Basically everywhere we just highlighted and our eyelids. I'm just gonna blend that in now. To make sure that is all blended, I just like to use any facial spray. Spray my face. And then go back in with the beauty blender and just smooth it out once again. I'm just applying concealer today. This is an everyday makeup look, so I, I don't really wear foundation at all really only like on days that I really want to like glam up I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D powder so while we're baking I'm gonna use Rimmel and a natural bronzer in sun bronze um, I don't really contour every day I just like to bronze up my face because it still adds definition even though we're not really contouring bronze up the nose real quick after we bronze up our face I'm just gonna remove the powder of us baking very lightly though now we're gonna go in this is the Ofra Madison Miller blush and all you need is love you just want to put that on the apple of your cheeks and a little bit on your cheekbone a little bit on my nose. And I also like to put a little bit where we put bronzer just to marry the colors together is what you call it. It's kind of like just makes it blend a little bit better. We're done with the base of our makeup. Now I'm just gonna use the facial spray one more time, make our skin pretty wet, and then I'll show you. Now I'm gonna use a beauty blender and pat everything in. This will help the skin look more dewy and less powdery. So obviously we don't wanna look like a cake face. I like to do everywhere I set with powder first, and then I'll move on to the rest of the face. Then I'll do blush. Bronzer. What we just did definitely just helps it all blend really well into the skin and kind of look like it's our skin. You said that so creepily. I'm just going to zoom into my face, obviously, so you guys can see the eyes a little better. I'm going to be using two palettes. It'll be the Per Be Your Selfie and the Tartis Pro. First thing we're going to do is grab that bronzer that we use on our face with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to put that in our crease just to make sure everything is blended really good and everything looks uniform on her face. Next, I'm going to go into the Tartise Pro palette and I'm going to use the color Edgy. It's like a cool tone brown, a little darker than what we just used. I'm just going to focus that more on the outer V. I'm going to use the color Bold on a fluffy brush from the Tartise Pro. I'm just going to 
go over the edges to make sure that it's all blended nice and smoothly because you want your eyeshadow blended to the max. Next thing, I'm just going to use a different kind of brush, same color bold, and we're just going to go underneath the eyes. You want to try to stay as close to the lash line as possible. Next, I'm going back into the Be Your Selfie um, palette and we will use Charming. I'm just going to take it on my finger and I'm going to apply that all over the lid, including the inner lid. Go back in with the fluffy brush and blend out those edges. Last thing I'll be doing on the eyes is just curling them and applying mascara. So I'm using the Thrive Cosmetics liquid liquid lash extensions mascara so since this is an everyday makeup routine we want to keep it simple um you don't have to apply lashes if you don't want to but i'm a little bit extra so i'm going to apply those lashes wink mink in style 1999 they are so cute i love them it's one of my favorite pairs a thin layer of lash glue on the lash you always want to make sure that you let the lashes dry before applying it on. If not, it is a hassle. It's so crazy how like lashes can literally change your look. Can make it a 0 to a 10 real quick. Same thing with the other eyelash. We're just going to apply a thin layer of glue on the lash line. And we're going to wait for it to dry a little bit. Next thing that I usually do is just blend my real lashes into the fake lashes with mascara and then I'll do my bottom lashes as well. Now we're going to move back onto the face. I'm going to add highlight. It's one of the last things that I do just because I like that bright highlight. I'm using Wet n Wild highlighting powder in Golden Flower Crown. For my nose, I like to use a smaller brush just so that it's more precise. I'm going to very quickly fill in my eyebrows. I use the e.l.f. Instant Lip Brow Pencil. Now the very last thing I do is lips, so I have a little lip combination here. I'm using the Rimmel London K Collection in 47 and the, I don't know how to pronounce this, Sis Moi, it's me, Reflect Lip Gloss in Opulence. This was our final look for an everyday makeup routine. Obviously, like I said, you can take off the lashes and just wear mascara like a normal person, but I am extra, so I won't listen to that. But I really hope you guys like this video. I mean, I I tried to make it like full. <laughs> Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I'll see you guys next time. I swear